Thank you, sir. In a tear village that is within Geremara ward where most of the charcoal used in Isiolo town and its environs originated from for many years, members of the public are now into serious farming of onions, tomatoes and kills, making money from the sale of the farm produce as well as boosting nutritional standards and hygiene through proper use of water from a tear borehole that was opened back in the year 2017. According to Francis Naachi, a resident of Atir village, villagers have been struggling to find water even for domestic use since Ngeremara River dried up over 10 years ago. Tuleza kupata maji ya mvugo, pia kukunya na kulima. Pia kwa hiyo meaka yote hiyo, tulikuwa tu umiakata maka, tukwa umia, ukosefu ya maji. Monica Epion, chair lady of the Atir Water Project, noted that women used to spend the whole day in search of water for domestic use after Ngeremara River dried up over 10 years ago. She said that following success of the borehole project, the area now has four clean water kiosks where members of public fetch water. <laughs> Ukikuja town mara moja, hiyo siku da unakuja na mboga ama viazi. Ikisha hivyo ni hivyo, lakini kwa saizi, mboga kila jioni. Unatuma mtoto kwa jirani, anenda na kunulia mboga mwenye mepanda, mnakula mboga, kitungu, atunului, tumelima. Speaking director and chief of party Doris Kaberia said that the strides made in the water sector, especially in Isiolo County, will help the devolved government and other development partners to scale up models that are working in areas that are yet to be reached. She noted that in Isiolo County, Kenya Rapid has also helped in the formulation of a policy that led to the Isiolo Water Act that was passed by the county assembly and assented by the governor in May this year. This Water Act provides the county with the requisite rules and regulations on how they are going to manage their water services. Isiolo County Chief Executive Committee member for Water and Sanitation Josephine Eregai lauded the support provided by the Kenya Rapid in the provision of water services, especially in the far-flung areas of Ngeremara. Laws are basically put as a blueprint. They are, uh, they are the ones that enable structures to move. They, are, uh, they, they, they clearly define areas of partnership and areas where a uh, county can come in. Eregai noted that formulation of the policy that led to passing of the Water Act was a huge step forward as it now provides a legal framework for regulation of water services and even partnerships with development partners for the benefit of Isiolo County residents. Mombi Wambogo, K24 News Cut.